Hey friends, welcome to another lesson. So for this lesson, we're going to be talking about by beholding, we become changed. I hope you've prayed for the Spirit of Christ to lead you and you've got your Bibles open. So as the famous author within the SDA church says, by beholding, we become changed. But friends, there are many things in scripture and in this world that we can behold. So we need to figure out biblically what the answer to this is for us to be saved. And that is found in Galatians 3, 21. Is the law against the promises of God? Certainly not. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, truly righteousness would have been by the law. Friends, righteousness does not come by keeping the Ten Commandments. Verse 24, therefore the law, that's one of the things we can behold, was our tutor to bring us to Christ. That is the only other option, that we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come, we are no longer under a tutor. So if there are two options for us to behold and become changed, then there also must be two ministries associated with those. And one is true and the other is false. So let's read about that in 2 Corinthians chapters 3 and 4. We'll start it off verse 18 of chapter 3. But we all with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. So friends, this is one ministry that is being described here, and it continues in verse 1. Therefore, since we have this ministry and we have received mercy, that's part of this ministry, we do not lose heart, but we have renounced the hidden things of shame. This is describing a different ministry. This is that ministry, not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But even if our gospel is veiled, it's veiled to those who are perishing, whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, lest the light of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. For we do not preach ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord. So now, friends, let's apply what we've learned and look at the experience of the Pharisees. They were beholding the wrong thing, and they ended up as part of the false gospel that eventually crucified Jesus. So what were the Pharisees beholding? They were beholding the Ten Commandments, specifically as a means of workspace salvation. And they were looking very specifically at the fourth commandment. So as they were pursuing the law, the law, the law, in fact... They were getting farther and farther away from God and his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And P.S., their knowledge of the law did not actually increase because Scripture says, professing to be wise, they became fools. Now, unfortunately, in many parts of the Adventist church, this progression is actually repeated with a special emphasis on the fourth commandment, and the doctrine ends up only being about the Sabbath day and Jesus is just an aside. So now let's look at the true gospel. What are we supposed to behold? So as we behold Jesus, his perfect character, his love, we let that love fill our hearts every day via death to self and we focus on him and the promises every day. We claim them. We are justified by faith and we believe that if we confess his name, we are saved. As we continue in that faith, Jesus grows and grows, becomes more a part of us. We learn to die more and more to self until we get to the point where the law is no longer in focus. It's totally gone. The law, according to the letter, has been replaced by the law according to the Spirit, which is Jesus Christ. Is that a biblical concept? 1 Timothy 1.8 but we know the law is good if one uses it lawfully, knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous person. Romans 7, 6, but now we have been delivered from the law. It's no more, having died to what we were held by so that we should serve in the newness of the spirit, that's the law according to the spirit, and not in the oldness of the letter, the Ten Commandments. So let's finish it off with the question then, what are you beholding? If you are beholding the law, the Ten Commandments, I want to keep the law, the law, the law, the law, then you are taking part in that ministry. Well, what does that ministry include according to 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and 4? Well, you're going to behold the law. You're going to be subject to the God of this age. You will have shame, craftiness, deceit, blindness. You will not believe and you will be simply teaching 
to exalt yourselves. Friends, we want to take part in this ministry, not that ministry. What does this ministry involve? It focuses on the Lord Jesus and his glory that he has received from the Father. He is our master. And as we focus on him, we will be transformed. We will receive of the glory just as Stephen did. He will be unveiled to us. We will receive mercy and enter in through grace. We will have a state of faith and we will preach Christ Jesus the Lord and not ourselves. I pray that you will continue to study these things. Blessings to you in the name of Jesus.